Hey, so I'm just going to quickly show you some of our carrier data. So uh, it's just a, a little internal tool we've got to uh, look up our data for our API and just show it in a table so it's a bit easy to, to get a get a feel for, for what there is. So here's a bunch of IP addresses that I've uh, typed in here. Um, here's, here's what we get back from our core API. So we've got the IP address, host name, organization, uh, and some location fields. Uh, so here's the, the carrier data um, here. So for each IP address, um, so in, the, in these examples, I know that these IP addresses belong to carriers. Um, so here I'm seeing that for each IP address, we can return the carrier name, which is the common carrier name, usually what the, the user would actually see on the device, you know, on, on, their, on their cell phone, uh, the, the country code, uh, the mobile network code, uh, and the mobile country code here. Uh, and so for each IP, we've got that information. Uh, now, for some carriers, um, that that carrier name is going to be pretty similar, or in some cases identical, to what you're going to get back in our core API. Uh, so, uh, for example, you know, I think the, the carrier in this one was AT&T, where we can see that the organization we're returning is AT&T Services. So you've got a pretty good guess that, that that IP address belongs to an AT&T carrier. Uh, the reason why you might want the carrier details in addition to just the core API response is because uh, we'll only return the carrier information if we know that those IP addresses uh, handle predominantly um, mobile data. So if you're seeing a response from our carrier API for an IP, it means that there's a very, very high likelihood that the user uh, is on a cell network rather than a, uh, you know, a, a traditional uh, network. Um, and you know, in cases like, say, AT&T, that could be good to know because AT&T have a lot of uh, broadband networks, they have cellular networks, uh, you know, corporate networks, a bunch of different stuff. And if you want to differentiate between an AT&T user that's actually on the AT&T mobile network versus a different AT&T network, the carrier, uh, the carrier API will tell you that. Um, now to go show you some different examples, it's also not always the case uh, where the, the carrier name in the ASN matches up. And I actually created this view here where we can see that you know, for these ones here, we've got the carrier's T-Mobile, the, the, um, the, the ASN name, which will come back in the org field of the core API is T-Mobile. You know, it's pretty similar, Vodafone, Vodafone Australia. Uh, globe, uh, globe Telecom, Globe, you can kind of figure out you know, what the mobile networks are here. Uh, but I've got a different set of IPs here uh, that I've, that I've preloaded. Uh, and here, the, the ASN name doesn't really correspond to the carrier at all. Um, or is, you know, maybe you could tell that, that these two are the same ones. Uh, maybe, maybe you know that that might be the case. Um, but it won't always be, or it won't always be so obvious. Uh, and so there are a, you know, a bunch of, of other examples we've got where, where that's the case. And so uh, you know, if, we, if we dive into the, the carrier details for these IPs, uh, you know, you'll see that you know, we've got the, the country code, the MCC, MNC, for all these IP addresses where otherwise you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily be able to know from the core API uh, that, that these uh, are, are mobile carriers or, or what the carriers are based on the, based on the actual carrier name. So that's another use case for the, for the carrier API, is to get the actual carrier details when it's not obvious for the SN, which in, in many cases uh, it wouldn't be.